Okay, hi everybody. I wanted to quickly show you how to use Vocabulary Builder with the Lamp Words for Life 84 transition and Lamp Words for Life 84 full vocabularies on the accent line of products. So what is Vocabulary Builder? It is a way to temporarily limit the number of words revealed at any one time. So basically what it does is, uh, for example, in the Lamp Words for Life 84 full program, there are over 3,000 pre-programmed words. What Vocab Builder does is you create a list of words that you want it to reveal and all of the other words will be masked. Okay, for this example, uh, I'm working with, I'm just introducing the Lamp Words for Life vocabulary to someone and I know that they really enjoy bubbles. So I'm going to create a Vocabulary Builder list um, around a bubbles activity. So I'm gonna select the gray uh, wheel here and then I'm going to go to the Vocabulary Builder menu. And then from there, um, you can see on the left-hand side, these are all of the words that are revealed. And on the right-hand side, these are all of the words that are masked. So for this example, I'm gonna mask everything. If you're already using Vocabulary Builder, just hold on a minute, because I will show you how to add words to an existing set. But for here, I am going to mask everything. Um, and you can see that my active uh, side is the side with the tan background. And then here this says spell to unmask. So I'm thinking about bubbles. So I certainly need the word bubbles. Uh, some verbs like pop and catch and blow. Uh, maybe a couple adjectives like big and little. a comment like fun, and then a way to uh, get out of the uh, activity. And I'm gonna choose the word stop. Then I'm gonna select okay. So you can see now that my list of words is now um, over here on the left. So I can see that these are the words that are gonna be uh, showing when Vocabulary Builder gets turned on. So I'm gonna say okay, and there it is. So now um, I can request my activity, bubbles, and then I can uh, tell somebody what to do or I'm going to catch. And then I might make a comment big, or I might say big bubbles, right? Bubbles. Um, or a word like fun, because I'm having fun. So maybe um, I want to add a couple more words. And if I want to do that, I'm going to go back to my gray wheel here, go back to the vocabulary builder menu. And you're just going to say spell to unmask and you're going to add more words. Uh, I'm going to add a word like awesome. So another comment. I'm going to add the word yuck because maybe the bubbles spill over and they get on my hands and I think it's yucky. And then I also like the word different because maybe I want to play something different. And some pronouns. Oops, I forgot my comma. So I want I and you, and we'll say, okay. So here it added those words to my list. I can see that I is listed three times. It's listed twice here just because it's on the spelling keyboard. So I am going to uh, mask those by just highlighting and saying mask. Let's again, highlight and say mask. And then I'm going to say, okay. So now I've added. I blow bubbles. bubbles, or maybe I'll say you, you. Catch. Catch. you catch, clear it out. So now uh, you might want to save this set because maybe uh, in a week's time you're going to be playing bubbles again. Uh, and to save uh, the set, you're going to go back to the gray wheel vocab builder menu, and you're going to choose this key here, save as sequence set. You're going to give it a name like bubbles.
Once you're done with your um, bubbles activity, you're going to want to reveal all of the words just because, you know, this small set of words is not going to be enough for someone to communicate from across a day. So to turn vocabulary builder off, you're going to say vocab builder off. Um, if you want to um, re-engage that bubbles list, you can simply turn vocabulary builder back on or you can load the sequence set. And I'm going to show you how to load the set just because um, you might want to do that in the future. So vocab builder menu, uh, advanced options down here on the bottom, use sequence sets. You're going to load that set and say bubbles. And then you're going to say OK and OK again. And then your bubbles vocabulary is uh, back. The other thing that I've seen people do is uh, create a vocab builder list um, of maybe 100 or 200 um, first words for the individual to have. And you're certainly going to want to save that set because maybe you're going to do a bubbles activity and only a bubbles vocabulary. But then you're going to want to bring back their sort of everyday communication set. So you'll want to save that and um, load it in as well. So let's turn Vocab Builder off again. And I think that's it. So thank you for learning how to use Vocabulary Builder with the Lamp Words for Life 84 transition and 84 full vocabularies on the accent line of products.